All right. Citrus unboxing. I've got a big old box from Madison Citrus Nursery. And I've got two really rare, really cool citrus. And I'm just curious. I, I bought from them in the past. They came pretty good. But sometimes when you're shipping something that's a weird shape like this and all the weight is at the bottom from the dirt and everything, I mean... You could just imagine this thing getting tossed around, all the branches getting broken on it. So I'm gonna start opening it up, and uh, I'm gonna put this camera down. We're gonna get a peek at some uh, some really rare citrus. that these are some decent sized trees check this out guys wow wow all right let me get these babies out of here Got two kinds. Got a Smith Red Blood Orange, which is actually a, a Valencia. It's a red Valencia. Um, some lady called the USDA and said that her neighbor, she said her neighbor was poisoning her, spraying something on her citrus tree, this Valencia she grew from a seed. And one of the branches was actually producing a sport branch, was producing a blood red Valencia. I've never had one, they look amazing. They're a little bit more cold hardy than your traditional, uh, like the Moro blood orange and everything like that. And, um, you know, Valencia is actually like, you know, like have you ever heard of a tangelo, um, a tangerine crossed with a pomelo? The Valencia is the same thing, but with a mandarin. It's like a mandalo. So it's a little bit more cold hardy than your normal blood oranges. And I've got two of them. And I see the purple tag is the blood orange smith red blood orange and it's on rubido uh, rootstock date of birth november 30th 2021 really good size rootstock and then that's the the smith red let me get these guys out of here i see some uh here's my trifolia now this right here is a Sitsuma. This is a Chimera. It is, I, and I, the, the thing is, is if, if there's a prog Sitsuma that's out there, which is a, it's not even really a cross. It's like a, a split between them. It's, it's Satsuma fruit growing on a trifoliate plant. So instead of you having like a mix between the two, it's like you've got one parent producing the, the plant and one parent producing the fruit. So it is the most cold hardy, it's, it's the holy grail of cold hardy citrus that's sweet. Basically you can grow mandarins with, if, with these up in, gosh, Virginia, Maryland, New Jersey. Um, but this one right here, when I search trifoliate satsuma, which is what this one's labeled as, I don't know if it's the same Prague satsuma, satsuma. um, this one's supposed to be from, when I do some research, I find out that it was actually from Russia, from Leningrad, if I'm not mistaken, uh, from one of their um, department, departments of agriculture. And um, so I don't know if this is the same one or if it originated in Russia, made its way to Prague, and then from Prague made it to a bunch of citrus nuts over here in uh, the U.S. But let me, um, let me open this up a little bit. So it is, it's the holy grail of cold hardy citrus is the Sitsuma, the 
a mandarin fruit on a trifoliate plant. It's uh, it's like hand in glove, you know. It's the, it's it's perfect. And I'm about ready to lose these guys. I think they're all gonna fall over. Let's see if I can just start putting them in a bucket now. These tall containers, these tall little one-gallon containers, four of them fit perfectly in a five-gallon bucket with a little bit of space left. Um, that I've learned from buying a bunch from other nurseries and from Mackenzie and stuff and everything. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Wow, that's a big healthy tree. Lots of new growth. Look at that. That's fantastic. Almost need to go get another bucket. And separate them. Wow, the the Smith's Reds are really, really full. Oh my gosh, I see a little blossom, I think. What is that? Oh, that'd be so cool if I've got a little flower, if I could actually grow one of these this year. Man, the problem is with little fruits on these, they, they put so much energy into the fruit that, I mean, you really gotta wait, you gotta take the fruits off. Any fruits growing on these, you really gotta take them off, otherwise, I mean, you're, you're stunting the growth for a year, like almost a whole entire year. It's gonna put all of the energy into that instead of getting established and, and uh, becoming a healthy tree. But wow, look at this. Oh man, I gotta show you guys this. Look at these giant, that's not normal. That's not normal. That's not normal at all. Do you see the size of these leaves? Do you see the size of these? Look at this, my gosh. That's as big as my hand almost. Now any of the, tri like the citrandarins and stuff like that, they've got small little narrow leaves. Um, the citramon, where it's, it's crossed with the lemon, you know, a lemon trifoliate cross has big leaves like this, but oh my gosh. Look at the size of these leaves. That's unreal. They're even bigger up here. Holy smokes. Those are some giant trifoliate leaves. That's all new growth. This bright green right here, that's all new growth. And then they've got another one over here. Look at this weird leaf. What the heck? What the heck? Well, they sent some really healthy stuff. And it looks like it's grafted. Is it grafted? It is grafted. I don't know if it needs to be grafted, but I mean, I'm sure it can be on its own rootstock. Hell, you could use this as rootstock. But um, I guess to get the specific variety, you know, you need to you need to graft them, and then I can get some rooted cuttings off these branches and stuff once it starts growing real good. But I'm just I'm blown away with the this Satsuma, the trifoliate Satsuma. That is, uh, that's the ultimate. It's the ultimate. Don't get me wrong, I love Citrandrons. You know, the the hybrid cross of the Shangsa Mandarin with the Trifolia. But this is a Satsuma cross with it, and I don't know if it's just a perfect hybrid or if it's a Chimera. They call it a Chimera. You know, like a, a Chimera, like, your, like a dog and a cat cross. That would be a freaking Chimera right there. You know. Um, I think it's from 1989 from Leningrad if I remember but beautiful beautiful really rare tree hard to get almost next to impossible um, I found out Madison Citrus has some and then we've got the uh, wow the Smith red blood orange beautiful absolutely beautiful look at this huh. Really healthy stock.